Okay, so we're in Adobe Premiere, and today I want to talk a little bit about the correct uh, sequence size to choose when you're creating a new project. Um, so what I'm going to do is go up here into File, New, Oops, Sequence, and here are my options. I've got a lot of presets. So really where you're going to live if you're using Adobe Premiere is here in the HDV folder, if you're uh, taping in high definition video, which most of you probably are, but if you're not, you might come up here into the uh, standard uh, definition folder. Uh, we're in TSC here in this country, so you want to go there, not to the PAL. And, uh, you know, whether you're, you're shooting in 16 by 9 or 4 by 3, you would choose one of these, but it's going to be standard definition video. But for the sake of argument, let's just assume that everybody is taping in HD. Now, I'm taping in HD, and I'm actually taping in, in uh, 1080p, uh, full high-definition video. And I'm also taping at 30 frames per second. Actually, it's 29.97, you can see right here. Um, and most of you are going to be there also. You've got some settings here where you can uh, have a sequence if you're taping in 25 or 29, or I'm sorry, 23.97. But I'm taping in 29.97, as most of you will be as well. So I could choose this sequence, and this would be perfectly fine for my video. It would fit very well, and that's what I'm taping in, and that's what I could choose. But that's not what I'm going to do. What I want to do is I want to come down here, and I want to choose a sequence that's 720p. And remember, I said my video is 1920 by 1080. And this is going to give me a sequence that's 1280 by 720. Now, this is still plenty big to do anything that I want to do with it. If I want to put it on YouTube or Vimeo or, you know, my Weebly site or any other website that I've got out there, this is still going to be really high quality video. It's going to be high definition. Okay, so let's, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So let's give it a, a, uh, a name. We'll call it Test Sequence. Okay, and so here's my sequence. Now, let me find a piece of video, and I've got some video that I brought in here, and I've got a shot here of some students in class. So this is, this is my shot. It looks like this. It's framed that way. Uh, you can see, there it is. Okay. I'm going to lay this down into my sequence, and look at that. Now remember, this video is 1080 and my sequence is 720. And so you can see where it's, it looks zoomed in, right? So let's go into the settings here for this clip. And I look at the clip and the scale, it's at 100% right now. Now to fit in the frame, I know that 67% is what I need. So that's where I, now it's 100%. You can see they match. We're at different points of the video, but that's the right size. Now here's why I wanted to go to 720p because it's going to allow me some flexibility. This is the shot that I took in the classroom. But let's say I just want a shot of this gentleman. I can come up here, I can go back to 100% or I can go you know anywhere in between 90, 80. I'm gonna go up to back to 100 and then I can drag him around and don't want to go past my edge there and right here and now I've got a brand new shot and you see the kind of flexibility that that provides to me in editing I can also if I just wanted these young ladies over here I can go in and have them and you can e even actually get away with a little bit more than a hundred percent with a lot of the video that we're taking so there's my shot not too bad. So now I just turned one piece of video into three different usable shots that I could use for my video. And uh, and so, you know, I'm able to uh, recycle a little bit of what I've already used, right? So that's what I suggest. If you're taping in a high definition format, bring your sequence size. Oh, there we go. Saved it so we can look at it later. Just bring your sequence size down just a little bit. You can keep a high def sequence but you don't have to be as big as you're taping and that will allow you some flexibility in your uh, in, when you're in post production and editing hope this helps and I'll see you on the next video